Yeah, hello friends. So this is the continuation from the last chapter. So I hope you are able to install, uh, you have successfully installed the graph worker and everything and you are able to create the simple.json, right? Okay, so let's continue uh, here. Okay, so I'm telling you in the last chapter that this is uh, what we are going to automate. Uh, I have automated the Wikipedia where uh, I, I will go to the login page in the Wikipedia. I will do uh, login into the Wikipedia. I will go, uh, reach to the home page and, and I, I will verify that. Oh yeah, it is actually the home page. And I, after that, I will click on the logout link and I will go to the uh, logout page in the Wikipedia. And then again from there, I will click on the login page and it will again come back to the login page. OK, so this is uh, what uh, I have automated this particular flow of Wikipedia and we'll see how the graph walker is actually works uh, with this. OK, so uh, this is clear. Simple.json. I have already uh, to, uh, told you in the last chapter let's close this okay so this particular steps is still uh, 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 i haven't uh, shown you right so let me show here okay so here i have set the time as 30 seconds okay so this test simple.json okay i'm not talking about the uh, wikipedia as of now i'm only talking about the thing mm, simple.json okay so this test will keep on running for 30 seconds I will show you run as JNet. So look at the console before class before. And I have added the sys out one, two, three, four, five, right? So you can see that this is keep on running. Okay. This is testing our model and the test will keep on running for 30 seconds. You can see that. Okay, so this is the main advantage of the graph walker. So basically all the flows, all your vertexes, all your uh, pages and your edges are uh, keep on running again and again. And because of this, it may happen that you are able to find some of the bugs. Okay, because we are testing like an end user, right? As a, as a developer, as a QA, we are testing this only once, right? But as an end user, I can click anywhere, any number of times, right? This is not has been generally automated in a uh, development environment. So you can see how the flow is going. See, all this flow has been tested. You can see a sequence vertex two, three, four, five, again, two, three, four. And here five, again, two, three, four, five, and again, two. So, so basically what is, it is doing, it is keep on running from so this is the cycle, okay? So here, so this is keep on running like that in circle, circular format. It is our test cases, test cases are keep on running for 30 seconds. You can increase the time, and you can decrease the time as per uh, your uh, as per your application. Okay. So fine, friends. So I hope till this you are with me and everything is clear to you. Now let's go to the our actual uh, uh, JSON which I have created for you. So this is the Wikipedia page. So what I am doing here, let's uh, open a wiki, uh, wiki page here. So we'll go directly to the login page. Here, okay. We'll log in into this using the automation using Selenium. And once we are login, log in, we will check that, yeah, this is actually home page. Okay, so right now it is an exploratory because uh, we have already searched. But then again, after after the home page comes, we will click on the logout here on this link, and it will go to the login and uh, logout page. And then again, we will click on the login. Okay, so so this is the flow I have automated. Okay, so let's uh, go to the code. So this is the auto generated class which I have shown you. Open the build dot policy see i have added the entry here wiki uh, webdriver wd.json and rest uh, rest of the line is exactly i uh, copy pasted from the top which has been auto generated okay so let's go to the implementation so look i have simply added the webdriver object here and in the before class i have uh, added the path of the chrome webdriver here 
I have initialized the web driver in the before class. After class, I simply call the driver dot quit. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, login page. This is the edge. Okay, so edge meaning as I already told you, edge is the action. So this is the action which uh, will be performed by the end user, right? So in our Selenium, we have a command like driver dot get this particular page. Okay, so I am calling this particular page. So this is the action for me. Okay, I have uh, just added the uh, out e1. Okay, so that it will be easy to find in the logs. E1 is actually our driver dot get. Okay. After this, what is the next? After this action, we come on the particular page. That is a login page, right? So we so we have to add only the assertions here. Nothing else. Okay. No action will be performed in the vertexes. So here the method name is verify login page. So uh, here you can see that uh, I have called driver dot find element by this is the name of uh, this is the id of the login uh, text area so i have uh, i'm finding the size of that and i'm just asserting that the size should be greater than zero means that that particular field is present on that page okay so this is my verification steps okay okay friends so uh, now uh, this is now what is the next step so once you verified this particular place, now the next is the action. So action is e underscore go to home page for customer. Okay, so this is the name of the method e go to home page. So what I have on the login page, I have entered the first I have cleared the field. Okay, then I have uh, entered the username. I have entered the password and I clicked on the login button, right? So this is the action for me. I have performed something on that page. Okay, so this is that this is this particular action i have performed now we will go to the home page right uh, user will be landed on the home page and we need to verify home page now so this is the vertex again so this is the sysout has been added as v2 and here i am just uh, uh, fetching the current url and i'm just asserting that it should be end with the main page main underscore page okay and then again i'm finding the uh, get text of username okay on the top if you are able to successfully log in then your username will come on the top of the wiki uh, wikipedia right so i'm just fetching the username and again i am uh, adding a session that the username should be sheetals2301 this is my username okay so this will clearly tell you that yeah you have been actually logged in into the system okay so this is the verification step okay what will come after that then there is another action action is go to logout page no no now we have to go to the logout this is the action we have simply clicked on the logout link okay then after that we have to verify that the logout page is there okay so i have asserted that the current url uh, contains user logout uh, text okay so this way we are verifying that okay that we are actually on the logout page okay so i am again repeating that on on vertexes like this is the vertex right you will not add any code which is related to action okay you have to add assertions only and in the uh, in this kind of method which is the uh, edges you have to add some kind of action there will be no assertion will come inside the edges okay so uh, after verifying the logout uh, page we have clicked on the login link right so this is uh, the uh, edges so let's go to the edge code and here we are just find element and just clicking on the login link that's it so this is my code okay so i hope uh, the code part is clear to you okay now time to run this particular code so uh, let me run uh, let let me show you the first test cases as i have already shown you in the last chapter that the meaning of the uh, smoke is just to make sure that your application is up and running okay nothing else will be tested okay so let's wait for a few more seconds okay see it's too fast to notice 
okay let me uh, see uh, okay so this is not working something has been broken in this test case i need to find debug it and i will again show you okay friends so uh, it was some io related exception so that has been fixed now uh, let me uh, rerun this particular test cases okay so here see i have uh, given the reference of our uh, that vertex name verify login page wd okay so this I, I mentioned that i need to test only till this particular point okay so this is our smoke test so i'm just making sure that our application is up and running that's it okay so no need to add, uh, add a lot of functionality and you can add some functionality also uh, under the smoke but it is generally recommended that just test basic test that your application is up and running that's it okay so uh, we have uh, running the smoke test cases here so see uh, look here the login page has been uh, opened and let's see till what point this case so uh, JUnit all the test cases has been run so you can see tell one vertex one okay so tell vertex one this has tested till login page we have mentioned this thing here right so that's why only till login page this so smoke test has been started here uh, run, uh, ran the code of the edges and finished on here after verifying that it is actually the login page okay so that's it so now let's go to the second test case of our that is the functional test case okay so the meaning of the functional is actually i need to test all the functionality and i want to make sure that my edges coverage should be only 50 okay so till only the 50 percent of the edges will be covered okay we can make it 100 also okay so i just want to show you that uh, it will run only for the 50. so see how many edges we have one two three four so ideally two edges should run okay ideally or let's see how much the, uh, edges only 50 percent of the edges will be run so let me run and run as the JUnit okay so so uh, we are opening the wiki page here again and let's see how it goes first edge has been successfully run vertex 1 has been verified and then you can see at the logs home pages uh, came here we clicked that's it okay so it has not been reached to the logout page right the test case has been passed you can see that uh, the logs and see v2 till v2 means that is a home page for customer okay till this point, particular point uh, our test case has been run successfully or, or after that edge has not been run right so let's uh, go to the diagram and so till the this particular time okay so only two edges has been run one and two right because we have given the 50 percent there okay so these two edges has not been run okay so this is your call how much uh, uh, application you want to test okay so this is the benefit of this particular test case okay now let's go to our final main test case so here we are telling that so let's say 120 is too much let me make it 60 okay okay let's make it 120 only so I want to uh, I am telling this particular uh, stability test that I want to run my application for 120 seconds okay the f uh, okay and this is the start of a start node okay it will keep on running nobody will going to stop it it will keep running for 120 seconds okay so let's let me run this particular test case so this is the main uh, actual benefit of graph walker we are sim we are suggesting that it should run for 120 seconds right our normal selenium scripts will not run like that right we are only uh, running it for one one loop right which we have seen in the functional testing uh, test right second one second test case so but this is the third one so see the login page came here okay it will login into the application it will go to the home page and it will click here on the logout link here logout has been clicked and logout page has been verified and again the login 
login link will be clicked again it will login into the application so this is the, this is the cycle this is the loop right it will keep on running for 20 seconds 120 seconds okay again verified the home page clicked on the logout logout has been verified again clicking on the login and again we are doing the login so see this is the advantage which i want to show you the benefit of the graph walker i hope this concept actually uh, excited you and i am damn sure that you should try at least try to implement it and see if you can give a poc kind of thing to in in your project with your project manager and uh, i think you should definitely go with this one and i hope that you will get some production defect and your uh, your team will be proud of you right at the, end, at the end of the day, customer should be happy, right? So see, uh, this is keep on running, right? So this is kind of exploring. We are kind of exploring the system, right? And let's see if we have to create the Wikipedia complete uh, model. So it will be huge, right? It will be a huge, hell lot of vertexes will be there, hell lot of edges will be there, right? So we have to give our lot of time and we have to sit with ba we have to sit with developer qa everyone has to be sit on one table and they have to spend their time in making the model once the model is ready that's it then you don't have to do much you have to everything code has been auto generated just you have to uh, add the code related to your edges and your vertex is verification and all this thing that's it then it is done then you don't have to do anything else okay so test cases i think uh, this has been finished so see a jnet has been passed successfully okay and you can see the logs okay right so see uh, here vertex logout so this is keep on running right so for complete two minutes this test cases is keep on running right friends so this is what i want to show you I really like this particular. I really like this uh, model-based testing concept uh, implemented by the Graph Walker. So see, this is what uh, we have tested. So I hope, friends, uh, this particular session uh, give, you are able to learn something from this particular chapter. And I will get back to you if I will find any good tool next time. Yeah. Till the time. Thank you. Thank you for watching this. Have a good day. And yeah, I forgot to tell you one thing. Stay in home and stay safe. You know, it's world is going on, uh, going through a very difficult time. So stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.